interests power learning. They create the momentum that youth have to explore, to create things, and to share with others what they're experiencing. And I think uh, giving opportunities for youth to explore their interests is a critical part of the learning process. They should be immersed in new worlds, new learning environments that might be outside of the norm so that they can give them their minds an opportunity to, to express wonder. And I think it's through that wonder that interest really is created. Here at CAF, we create different programs in our studios to inspire people to discover why design matters. They start off with this idea of hanging out in our studio and beginning to create a studio mind. Maybe hang out with the people that are interested in that, hang out with the content, and hang out with themselves exploring, experimenting, and trying new things. As they get more comfortable with that, they start to be confident in messing around and designing things that are a little bit more challenging, using materials they haven't used before, looking at things in different dimensions that they haven't explored. Once they get comfortable using those design thinking skills, then they can geek out. And that geeking out for them is basically using all of their skills in a way that meets the challenge. Youth have more options than ever to be successful in business, in science, in art, in public service. And the, the issue with connected learning, I think, that is the most challenging is to try to find the relevance that connects what we do in out of school time with what's going on in school. The promise of badges in the seesaw environment is that it can serve as sort of a, a physical connector between the uh, learning pathways that are happening within our community. Youth are pursuing an interest that goes through one organization and allows them to leapfrog to another organization and still another organization. And the badges may help us to uh, link these experiences and connect them in such a way that we can start to kind of map out what those pathways are. And that path of study ex exploration is something that may be unique to each um, learner. So with Seesaw, we want everyone to jump on this bandwagon and to really get excited about reshaping, reimagining, and reforming the city into a comprehensive sort of learning environment where we all get to participate in building this network for youth engagement.